Hey friends, and welcome to another episode of the Everything is Marketing podcast. On today's episode, we are talking to Tim Gruber and Jamie Dion about moving Michigan forward. Today, our guest, Tim Gruber, president and CRO for the MLive Media Group. How are you today, my friend? I'm doing fantastic. How are you? I am excellent. We are moving Michigan forward. And before we talk, Tim, about this new program, I want to go back a little bit and I want to talk about the impact of the grant program that we did early on in COVID. And I want to talk because um, kind of the nexus of where that came from and the impact that you saw, because you kind of have a 10,000 foot view of all of what's going on in the organization. And I sort of want to know, what did you see? What was the feedback like? And, and more importantly, where did it come from? You know, it was, a, it was a great opportunity. We did really, really well helping out the community, actually better than we anticipated. Uh, the program came about because, of course, being the lockdown with COVID, a lot of these businesses we saw were struggling trying to stay afloat. So we felt what better way to help them out and assist them than matching the funds and helping them get their, their advertising out there, maximizing their dollar to the best of their ability. And so that brings us to present day where we're doing Move Forward Michigan. Uh, so kind of give me the nuts and bolts of what this program is and who will this impact directly? Yeah, so it's a fantastic program we put together. It's actually helping out all these businesses get back on track, of course, as we exit what we consider a new norm or what that new norm may be. Uh, it gives them that opportunity to get out there in front of everyone again, and we're going to match the funds all over again. And this is going to impact everyone. This is everything from our convention and visitor bureaus to restaurants, to HVAC, you name it, across the board, hospitals. It just gives us a really good opportunity to partner with them and help them get back uh, to what a new norm may look like. Some of the work that we've been doing in this space, Tim, has been super exciting. And I just got done talking to the MRA a few weeks back about kind of the temperature of the state, so to speak. And, and one of the things that I am experiencing and some of the members of the MRA, the Michigan Retailers Association, are feeling is as the vaccinations go up, so does this feeling of hope. And I know that you have a lot of connections to the community. And I'm wondering, are you seeing that same thing or what sort of things are going on in, in your network that you could kind of share here? You know, I hear nothing but positive things. Uh, everyone's upbeat. Everybody wants to move forward. Everybody wants to kind of get back into uh, the norm again, or what that once again may look like going forward. But they're very positive, very upbeat. They're looking forward to what the future holds. Uh, if one thing has come out of this is it's helped them kind of redesign, reorganize and determine what the future may look like in regards to staffing, in regards to how the carryout services may work with places that never did it before. They're seeing a lot of successes that came out of this. Uh, there is definitely some some positive things that have happened, and, and they're all very upbeat about it. Awesome. And so I sort of want to turn the lens on you a bit, because I know that doesn't happen very often, but you came into this organization at a very unique time. And so I'm wondering, as somebody who had like uh, 12 days before there was a lockdown and <laughs> running an organization, what has this year been like for you? And how different is it than the one that you imagined your first year as president here? Yeah, you know, that's a great question. And I can say that uh, in, an, in a way, it was a blessing in disguise. It gave me the opportunity, as you well know, to be able to speak to every single person in the company almost every single day. And I would never have been able to do that if I was sitting in an office in Grand Rapids or Ann Arbor or Flint or wherever it may be. So it really gave me the opportunity to connect with every one of our employees really quick. At the same time, it allowed them to kind of see how I live. I could see how they live. We've seen births. Unfortunately, we've seen deaths. We've seen adoptions of fur babies. We've seen so much about people and their families and how people operate. It's actually been a really good thing for me. My past, I've worked, uh, worked and lived all over the country. I've never had a chance to get in front of every single individual. I know everything there is. I know every single individual now within the company due to the fact of being to go online and do teams and see people every single morning. So it's, it's actually has been a blessing in disguise. So as you said, you've you've been in the industry and in various tentacles of the industry for a long time. What does something like that do to your leadership style? Like, what is what does it look like going for you for the rest of this year and into beyond? Right. Yeah, you know, it's it's that's a great question. Uh, you know, we're going to kind of adapt. We're going to take a look at what right looks like because due to the fact we've seen productivity with people working from home has been very successful. At the same time, we just can't have everybody immediately come right back to a nine to five, five day a week work job. That's just not the right thing to do. 
we're going to have to gradually adapt and, you know, we'll figure out what that reentry may look like, but it's not going to be 100% full-time back in an office. Uh, at the same time, it's probably not going to be 100% uh, everyone being back at home. And I can tell you that uh, after speaking with a lot of our employees and taking a look at how they feel, if we can find some sort of a great work-life balance, which I think we can, I think we've got a great future ahead of us. Absolutely. Tim Gruber, president and CRO of the MLive Media Group. My friend, get back to it. Thanks for the time. Thanks, Eric. Greatly appreciate it. So now let's bring in Jamie Dion to explain exactly how this program works. First, Jamie, how are you? And second, tell me more about this. Hello, Eric. Well, I'm well, thank you. And um, I'm really excited to be launching this for several reasons, getting um, our Michigan businesses, those that are still you know, not fully open yet, getting them moving forward and just moving forward as a community. Um, it's really easy to get involved in this program. Um, you can go to moveforwardmichigan.com and fill out a super simple application. Um, and that application will come to me and my team and we'll make sure someone reaches out to you that day uh, to talk more about the program and to get you started. You know, as I was talking to Tim, one of the things we were talking about is just this this feeling of hope as we're moving forward. And I don't know if, if I feel like you're feeling it, but it feels as if we are moving into the next chapter of whatever this is. And I think Move Forward Michigan will be a huge part of that. Yes, absolutely. Um, we launched a grant program about a year ago to help businesses with their messaging during what was a very difficult time. And I can tell you that the difference and just how it feels moving into this program is, is night and day. Um, and the mission is the same. We want to help support these local Michigan businesses. You've been through a lot and, um, yeah, I'd say hope is hope is the key word here. We're moving forward. So the website moveforwardmichigan.com. Jamie, what's the deadline? How long do they have to fill this out? Yeah, it's active now through June 21st. So you've got time to fill it out and uh, we'll be matching funds and providing this grant through August. So there's plenty of time to take advantage of it. Um, but, you know, the state of Michigan is rather large and $5 million could go fast. So um, I'd encourage you to go in and sign up and we'll get you taken care of. The website again, moveforwardmichigan.com. Jamie Dion, thank you so much for the time. Thanks, Eric.